Oh my oh, god. What? This is your pipe. Oh my god. That might be a good filter. But how did the water go down my pipes? That's a good question, Rex. Water has been draining all these years because it can seep through even the thickest compacted roots, which act like a filter they hold onto solids while allowing water to trickle down over time. Since only one person was living in the house, there wasn't much water being used, making it hard for him to notice the backup. In the meantime, the roots were making a cozy residence inside his pipe until I came along and put a stop to that. It took us a full day to dig this hole due to the immense amount of tree roots. Five inch thick monsters. You might think the city is responsible for this mess, but good luck with that. I've been there, done that. I've spent lots of miserable hours in City Hall. We used a jackhammer to break through the ground since it's very hard dirt, and a sawzall to cut through those thick roots. Stay tuned to see how we're replacing his old clay pipe with heavy duty polyethylene SDR-17 sewer pipe. This is the most important process, connecting the pipes together. But before we do that, we need to ensure the two pipes are symmetrical to each other so we can fuse them effectively. To achieve this, we'll use a shaver device that will shave both sides of the pipes. These curly shavings are the debris that comes off the pipe while it's being shaved, much like the shavings from a pencil. As the shaver device works, it trims the edges, leaving behind these curls, creating a perfectly straight surface. As you can see, both pipes are now perfectly symmetrical and smooth, which is essential for a strong connection. We're ready to place the heat plate between them and securely lock it in place. This process will take about 20 minutes to cure, allowing the materials to bond effectively. This crucial step ensures a dependable and long-lasting joint, setting the foundation for a robust plumbing system that will stand the test of time. And just like that, pipes are now fused together. These massive roots are a real problem. They've completely clogged the six inch clay pipe, making it impossible to drain. Can you believe how far they've grown? They've even reached the saddle. It's insane how much these roots love to invade your sewer system. If you have a big tree nearby or an old clay pipe, do yourself a favor. Don't wait until it's too late. Run a sewer camera to assess the situation before you're faced with a costly mess. Trust me, catching it early can save you a headache down the line. We proudly service the Los Angeles area, so don't hesitate to reach out. Papa, what? This is your pipe. That's, how does, okay, that might be a good filter, but how did the water go down my pipes? 20 minutes into fusing, we're now moving the seamless 60 foot pipe closer to where we'll attach the bullet head. This is a crucial step, as we'll then reattach the cable responsible for pulling the pipe underground. It's all coming together as we prepare for the next phase of this operation. This is what I like to call a bullet head. It fits snugly onto the pipe with inner threads and compresses as you tighten it. Designed to bore and break through old clay or cast iron, it doesn't really matter which. The hydraulic pump pulls the pipe with over 20,000 PSI, and in just 20 minutes, you'll have a brand new seamless pipe that will last for years to come. This cable plays an important role in the process. We're going to insert it inside the old clay pipe and pull it out from the other side. 
the cable will be attached to a bullet head, which will carry the new pipe while breaking apart the old one as it replaces itself. We've also camera the old pipe and confirmed there are no slope issues, making this the best possible approach for this project. It's a phenomenal method that preserves your landscape or driveway, whatever the case may be. What do you think about this process? Please let me know in the comments. I'm eager to hear your thoughts. This method always surprises me every single time. Just look at how this 60 feet of pipe is dangling in the air. It's made from very flexible polyethylene, which allows for incredible maneuverability. It's fascinating to see how this material adapts to our needs during the installation. It literally bends at a 90 degree angle to penetrate through the old pipe. He's now installing the hydraulic pump, and as part of the process, He's building a barrier wall between the dirt and the pump. This is crucial to prevent any cave-ins when the pump pulls the pipe underground. With this setup, he ensures stability and protects the equipment while harnessing the pump's incredible power. This is the hydraulic pump responsible for pulling the pipe underground. It's an impressive piece of equipment, capable of pulling up to 30 tons. This power ensures we can efficiently and effectively install the new pipe with precision. Hey, I helped you. Yeah, I helped. Unfortunately, there's a more significant issue at hand. Massive tree roots are infiltrating the pipes. While this is a problem with the city's infrastructure, the responsibility to address it ultimately falls on you. These trees were planted 70 years ago without considering the havoc they would cause in the future. I'm not against trees, but the city should at least provide reimbursement or assistance since this is city property. If you found this video interesting, Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my upcoming video where we remove the enormous roots from the 6 inch clay pipe and install epoxy sleeve for optimal support to prevent roots from penetrating through. You won't want to miss it hit that notification bell to stay updated.